So uh, let's let's touch on this. Uh, what what is the process for you like writing these songs for pe the people that you do write for? Um, is it in the studio? Is it a vibe? You right, write so, it for them? No, you know what's so funny? I've never actually been in the studio with anybody. It's always me coming up with a concept, singing it, and sending it to them. Wow. You get what I'm saying? I tell them like, sir, be shut up and hustle. Shut up and hustle. Shut up and hustle. Shut up and hustle. I tell them like, sir, be shut up and hustle. Shut up and hustle. Best of the best entertainment presets. Your feature presentation. What up, Milwaukee? Yo, what's going down? It's your boy, Sir Quentin, from Best of the Best Entertainment, where we keep our eyes and our ears open for local, global, up-and-coming and established artists. Today, we're rocking out with your boy. Thanks for coming to the show, man. Thanks, brother. Thanks Introduce for inviting me. Introduce yourself, man. My name is Chuck Sanders. I'm from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and all I do is um, make music and eat ice cream. And guess what? <laughs> and guess what? I'm fresh out of ice cream. <laughs> That's funny, man. Thanks for coming to the show again, no man. So, uh, Track Sanders, man. Track Sanders. So, where that, where that name derived from, man? I've been hearing this name <laughs> all over the place. Track Sanders. Um, Tracks. I, I, I used to follow around the record breakers. I, uh, DJ Stretch is my, my best friend. I used to follow around this DJ crew called the Record Breakers, and I was holding records and everything, and I used to only make beats. I used to have beats all the time. So I was like, I was like, I'm gonna start a company, and I called it Deep Tracks. Wow. Uh, with two X's too. With That's two X's. tracks with two X's, by right, the way. Right. Right. Yeah. So I called it Deep Tracks, and nobody could remember my name. So they used to just be like, Hey, because I gave them the card and I gave them the CD with Deep Tracks on it. Right. For some reason, everybody remembered the tracks part. Wow. Because I gave them tracks, like you get what I mean? Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. And so they'd be like, hey, hey, uh, uh, tracks. Right. And Which is funny because all, in case y'all ain't heard his music, all your music is deep too, man. Like, yeah, like so I, I used, geez. so if for some reason, man, they always remembered the tracks part. So they, they start calling me tracks all the time. And right. just stuck. That's a dope ass name. And I just way, put my last name on it because it was other tracks in the world, so. Copy Tra that. Tra Copy that. So, uh, man, I, I've been on you like for like writing music for like a lot of people, man. I'm mm -hmm. just gonna let you touch on like everybody that you've ever written for, man. Because I mean, it, uh, I've written for a lot of people. I, I've written for people that that probably don't even want me to tell. Jeez. Yeah, I've, I've I definitely got a few like rapper credentials uh, verses under under my belt, and so. Now I'm just same thing. I'm still writing for people, but I'm I, I just using some of this energy, this music energy, to write for myself too. Yeah, I was gonna say, what made you what made you want to make that transition? Cause, um, geez, I I just wanted to um, I don't know. I just got tired of just talking for other people. I wanted to talk for myself. Right. Um, I wanted to, uh, my voice to have my face attached to it. At first I was kind of scared to put myself out there because it's kind of vulnerable to, yeah. to, to show your music. But then I was just like, you know what? It is what it is, I'm out here. Right, so uh, let's let's touch on this. Uh, what What is the process for you like writing these songs for pe the people that you do write for? Um, is it in the studio, is it a vibe, you right, write so, it for them? No, you know what's so funny? I've never actually been in the studio with anybody. It's always me coming up with a concept, singing it, and sending it to them. Wow. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, like, for instance, uh, the last one I, I did probably was um, just on this Slaughterhouse CD. Mm -hmm. I was on Slaughterhouse. That's, uh, you know Slaughterhouse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I heard Slaughterhouse. Um, uh, yeah. I, I was on um, Joel Ortiz and, and Cricket um, CD, and I sent... And what's funny is they use it as a disc record to the other two people on their crew. And I sent it to what's the What's the name crew. of the CD? Hold on. What's the name it's of called it? The Slaughterhouse. You ain't never heard it? Rise and Fall of the Slaughterhouse. They talking about Joe Budden and them, Voice of Five Nine. Oh, you talking about that? Yeah. I'm on there. Okay, what? Yeah, singing. I sent and, and wanted to know something funny. Royce the Five Nine and Joe Budden got a rebuttal to their song, which I'm also on. Huh? Hold on, hold on, I sent, hold on, hold on. I sent two records. You gotta send those over, man. We gonna, we gonna drop that on the. We gonna put that over as an overlay. I sent that. Uh, well, the the Royce the Five Nine song ain't out yet. Yeah, yeah. 
but uh, Joel Ortiz and, and their song is out. It's called it's called Coasting. Um, I sent it to them as a crew, thinking they would all use it, but they split apart and both of them picked a different record. And it was, they, it was against each other, pretty much. And it was against each other. <laughs> <laughs> That's shit weird. But, excuse me, I'm in cuss. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Um, Jeez. So you said you never in the lab with them, and so you write for, you you uh, you write for men and women. Man, I I started off only writing for women, which That's is funny. Crazy. You, you write? Do you write for uh? What's our Alicia Alicia Nicole? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Wow, wow. I, I used to she be. She just laugh. dropped some fire. I used to be laughing because girls used to be like, "Only a girl know how this really means," and right. blah, blah blah. But it's a guy writing it the whole time. Right. That's. Crazy. But I can tell you what. Even though I'm physically writing it, I talk to Alicia about what she going through and what she want and i just literally and just, just flip it to you words put the verb is right yeah now for like her. how do you feel about this how do wow. you feel about how you feel about dudes right now and then i write about her what her answer is so it was like an interview yeah and then i write about then, that wow. so that's why the songs feel like they heard because they really are yeah yeah they you are you know what i mean Jeez. So who who in, who in track Sanders? Who in your playlist right now? Who you who you listen to, man? You man pull up your Spotify I, right man, now, bro. I I can tell you. I, I let me tell you this. I listen to myself. I know that As sounds you weird, be, man. Like <laughs> honestly, dog. If I'm by myself, I'm listening to all beats. That's I'm listening crazy. to all beats. That's like crazy. literally, like like my favorite you album right in, now. Man. If I had to pick somebody, is Jid, the Forever Story. That's crazy. I would never would have. Yeah, I, you know. I, I ain't even tap into him. He's yo. so fucking, excuse me. He's so you dope. You can drop your gems. Uh, hey, I'm sorry. Yeah, I just, I'm just i just trying to not to. Oh, yeah, facts. But, but, <laughs> um, but um, he he's dope, J, uh, J-I-D. He, he's uh, it's called The Forever Story. And it's it's amazing. Like, he talked about his emotion. He talked about whatever. It, but he got that feel of, like, an outcast CD. Mm. And, like, that's, like, my major, like, like. I would, I would call myself a mixture of Floor Tree and Outkast. If, I, if Floor Tree and Outkast made a CD together and put a little bit of hood in there, like I could see put, a, that. put a little bit of uh, UGK or something in there, yeah, facts, that's me. Facts, facts, does that make because, sense? Yeah, it does make sense. A little, man, bit, of, a little bit of hood ooh, with, with Floor Tree and Outkast. This album we're going to touch on. Whew. Man, yeah. I appreciate you for dropping, man. Thank Give you, me brother. that, that, that copy too, cause like, I was I was all over the place, but I, I had fun making it. I man, like listen, man. All right, we gonna touch on that album in a minute, though. But okay. let's let's talk about cause uh, road life, man. So how has road life been? Like you getting out here, you promoting this album, man. man. Give me some stories I, about being on the road, man. Uh, I well, I went to Arizona. I did a show, and I went to Atlanta and did a show. I went to I, I I've been all over. And what's so funny is I went to Atlanta. I've been trying to like put myself through a gauntlet of shows because I felt like I haven't learned how to perform yet. So I was yeah. like, I'm about to just perform wherever they want me. I'm performing there, no matter what. Like if they say yeah. come perform there, I'm performing there. Right. So so I uh, I went to Atlanta and I got in like five showcases. Like you get what I'm saying? Right. Right. I was going to yeah. My guy uh, Cal. I stayed at his house, Calvin. Uh, he he, he, he protests like I went to every one of them and I performed at them, just out of the blue and it was almost all rappers. And you want to know something funny? I won every one of them. Like you know, and some and, and what's so funny is I won like, you know, street signs. This one I won like some money. This one I won just just silly shit. But yeah. I, but but like. Um and then and I, won it. Too, I won I this, this thing. I went won this like thing to be in this other contest, this other thing called the Bonfire and in um uh, Atlanta. It was dope. Um I performed there and uh Deb Anthony was there. She was I took a picture with her, she was geek, she was like, You are so different. Like you are just what the world needs like you know what i mean all right let's alley you to this album because i gotta ask i gotta ask did you, Go you did you uh drop any of them songs on the road uh in atlanta I no i ask. didn't what? i i was performing them yeah yeah i was performing fat boys oh yeah yeah and i was performing um be my bay yeah, but I but I but it wasn't drop yet. I just dropped Jeez. that like maybe man, two tell, months. Tell ago. the world, man, about this album, the name and all that, man. Uh, it's called Fat Boy Season, and, and, and I just 
Uh, I, I, the reason that it's uh, called Fat Boy Season is because I was in this group on Facebook and these girls was just talking about fat boys. They couldn't do nothing for them and this, that, this, and they got on this. Man, this, that. this album, so man. I, so it was like I used each song to to retort everything the girls were saying in the group. Jeez, man, this song, man, this, man, I'm talking about skinny niggas, man. You made me want to be a fat boy. Uh, hey, to this album. And that's the point. That's the point. <laughs> Hey, hey, you want to know something funny? I, me and my uh, my my uh, label mate uh, Terrell uh, Ego, he he uh, he's also my uh, my uh, graphics artist. He's like telling me like what he want me want to do with it. I want to put your face on a bottle of Lurries and this that and, the other. <laughs> and I'm just like, bro, no. He's like, what you mean? I'm like, Fat Boy season is supposed to be elegant. Yeah. It's supposed to be something that a, a crew that or a clique that people want to be a part of, not something that people laugh at and not something that people want to pour on their food. And that's that's what you portrayed on that album yeah. too, man. It's, it's just, supposed to be elegant. You, you made it. Man, you made it. I don't want to use this word, but sexy, bro. Like you yeah. made like fat boy sexy. I tried like, to. That. So uh, that was my goal. And then it's crazy. The first thing I thought of listening to this album was Diddy said R and B is dead. It's like mm -hmm. what you what you feel about that? Cause you. Well, I mean, I, I guess I get them like to the point where like you not getting you do R and B. Like for instance, you you heard the quality of my music. Yeah, yeah. Why am I not on the radio here? Yeah, right, right. And that's what I was thinking. You like, get what I'm saying? The whole time I'm, I'm not listening about to, to be, it, it was I'm not about to be able to go to the club here and get everybody to to scream this song. Yeah, like yeah. bow yeah. or like. You right. get what I'm saying? Because I know I, not, I, man. It, that, it, not to the, get you the, off, bro. That that do not disturb, man. That shit, man. It's you crazy. Put my shit on D and D, like right. <sighs> That's yeah, it's nice. classic, that, bro. And I, like, I feel I feel the same way, bro. That's how I used to, now keep in mind, I, I'm what you listened to was what I was on about three years ago. Mm -hmm. So I made all of that stuff three about three, four years ago. Imagine what I'm on now. Timeless, bro. And, and and what's so funny about it is it's like I'm listening to this. You say what I listen to every day. I'm listening to these, getting mad, like, yo, why they won't let me in the door? <laughs> but, you know what I'm saying? Y'all letting this other stuff in the door. Yeah. I listen to She Don't Want My Love, Diddy song, on four different beats. Yeah. And I can't get one song on it. Right, you yeah, feel that's me? crazy. Yes, in that's In my own crazy. city. That's crazy. And but I'm but I'm gonna keep asking, I'm gonna keep trying, I'm yeah. gonna do my best. I'm not complaining. Man, you make keep on making that shit, man. So like you saw, you said three years ago, so that mean you still making hits, man? Like, what you got in that vault, man? Man, you better... I'm I'm so. Jeez. Listen, the the moniker tracks. It started off as just a whatever, but now it stands for I got a whole lot of tracks, all the time. Mm. Like I make. I don't know, man. Like I, realistically, two to three songs a week, times, every day. Like times every year, Just you get what I'm saying. Working, man, that's work. So times, so so, so what is how many? What fifty two weeks in a year? How many weeks in a year? It's about fifty two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So fifty two times three. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. Let's, let's do that math. <laughs> yeah. So that's how many songs I probably make a year. Jeez, let's do that math. Uh, so uh, realistically, three songs a week. One hundred and fifty six songs. Uh, 156 songs 156 a year. 156 songs a year. And sometimes more, but I'm, I, that's just realistically. Who on the production side? Um, most of the time, my, my cousin, Young Dev, he's from Milwaukee. Yeah, right. Um, DJ Payne, one, he's from Madison. Jeez, everybody um, in Wisconsin, huh? Yeah, I mean, and then Jeez. industry, sometimes, sometimes like industry R&B, uh, like A&R's send me packs of beats. Mm -hmm. Like and those those beats end up being on people album in the industry. You feel me? My boy working, bro. I'm giving you your roses. Why you here, man? You working, dog? Thanks, so let's let's talk about the company, bro. Like the, the bad guys. The bad guys. Let's touch, let's touch on them, man. Let's they, they right go here. where go wherever you want to go with this conversation, man. Man, the bad guys is me right now. Consist of me and Elisa, DJ Stretch, Payne, and Terrell. Um, Morgan and, and and I, um, and these is just all my guys. It's just a mixture of my guys. I called it the bad guys because I felt like for so long 
I was trying to be good. You know what I mean? Right, I was trying right. to be a good guy. Like, but everybody thought I was bad. So. No, no, you can't just move over there. <laughs> yeah, like, like people be like, man, when I first thought, when I first met you, I thought you was an asshole. Yeah. No, I wasn't an asshole. I just told you no. Right. And I meant no. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, I, I wasn't rude about it. I didn't say, no, bitch, get out my face. <laughs> Motherfuckers that come up to me, like, they'll come up to me and ask me for shit. You just don't ask. Hey, bro, I heard you got a studio. I'm trying to get in there. Right. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, keep in mind, like, my studio ain't public. Yeah, it's facts. in my crib. You got to come around my family. Yeah, facts. Do I know you? Facts, like, right. You get what I'm saying? Female or male. Yeah, facts. Like, and females are the most entitled. <laughs> like, females be like, yo, I'm trying to get over your house. And I'm just like, no. You, you get what I'm saying? You you tell a girl no, no. Listen, you tell a girl no in 2022, she dang near think you broke the code. Yeah, facts, facts. Girls man, feel like they like run the so world. And if you tell them no, bro, like you tell a girl no nowadays, and I'm just that guy. I'm like, no. Just no. I'm like, and I don't be rude. I just be like, no. Right. Jeez. You so, get what I'm like, saying? Which, which, I'm glad you brought up family. So, like, how do you how do you balance like this music management and all that and, and being married? Like, hey man, it's it's all right. So I'm gonna tell you what I like doing, and I know this is weird, right? Mm -hmm. I drive Lyft now, and I fucking like doing it. Yeah, fact. you know why? Because I ride around all day and I Bumpy talk to people. Shit, bro. I talk to people and I get their stories and they help me write songs, and and then I listen to beats all day. I literally just be vegging out driving. Listening to beats, listening to beats, listening to beats, listening Jeez. to beats, all day, all day, every day, around people. Trying so to get and a, and like just the money from that, the money that I make from music go back into music, and the money I make from that go to my family. Wow. And I and like I just kind of let my wife do what she will with whatever that money is. Facts, facts. You know, but facts. I do it every day. So my facts. goal when I'm driving is like to make realistically to 200 250 a day yeah facts yeah that's, and, that's and, realistic and, yeah. and then yeah. um she take that now that's not counting my publishing checks that come in Jeez. which is um, from the music that i write for other people and that's the music that i get to play with to travel and do music and right you get what i'm saying so the music so what is what is it like what is it like uh management like what is what's next for bad guys like what y'all what y'all got going Man, on because no, we kind of ran okay. off with the conversation oh, okay with, so with no, bad guys no yeah. the bad guys um uh lisa got a got a uh, cd out with scales right now yeah oh that's, a, that's a whole shit. album yeah oh i thought it was a single it's nice. nice 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 oh uh, it's it's five songs it's called toxic shit it's it's really dope actually it's real smooth shout it's different than what shout out to lisa what's yeah. up y'all that's good um J it's an artist called jr scales yeah yeah at least in the call and um um ego got a cd coming out um i don't know what stretch is doing stretch stretch is i think stretch is gonna get on his dj cali shit right right you right. know what i'm saying put out a cd you talking about dj stretch dj right? stretch oh nice He's probably the bad guy nice yeah man. so Jeez. and um and i i have Elisa coming out with her album um, of Love, Sex, and Disrespect. Well, that's and, a dope ass name. Bro. And then um, I'm coming out with FMBM. Uh, I got an album. Hold on, I, FMBM. FMBM. What is that? <laughs> what is that? Hey man, yeah, hey, man y'all learn a little later <laughs> about FMBM. FMBM is it, it's so crazy how I use the most ratchet thing to is it, i use something ratchet to make something beautiful right yeah yeah it, it's it's uh, like ratchet beauty yeah facts, you feel me? Facts. <laughs> so uh your album this whole album man so like what's your what's your top three on this album man if you if you would direct the the crowd to go to your to my album to your album on I know Fatboy this, season geez. um my my top three would be ride no see i don't know it's hard. Yeah. Ain't it yeah. hard? Man, What's your top was, three? <sighs> bro, like, that shit was, like, on repeat, bro. Like, I, uh, bro, I, I'm, to be honest, bro, I just, I had on repeat, do not disturb, bro. Okay, like, so my, my top yeah. three is Be My Bay, Do Not Disturb, and then it's a toss-up between Ride, Got That Feeling, and Pulling Up. Yeah. It, it, like, Depending on the day, it's one of those three. That album's crazy. My, my man. favorite one on there is is uh, "Be My Bay" because it's just 
crazy and it's kind of like a cover i really like yeah it. yeah 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 and do not disturb is like the ones like hold on I'm, be my bae how'd that go again how'd that go I want again you to be my bae. Yeah, yeah 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 that's uh wait that was that what was the original song the brandy sample the brandy sample yeah mm -hmm. yeah you right that's man, it's crazy. song bonkers man that's um bonkers so uh all right tell them tell them where to find your uh album at tell them where to find you at and all oh, that oh man my name is track sanders that's t-r-a double x s-a-n-d-e-r-s -E and on every platform um ig tiktok um spotify apple music track sanders you can find fat boy season you can find schizo and um it's all it's all one thing it's all gonna come together and Coming soon, you will find uh, FMBM. Yes, FMBM. What is what is that? What is that acronym? Hey man, <laughs> hey man, that's for another date, dog. Well, I that's for you, another man. date. We had to pick F. <laughs> my M Y B M. <laughs> FMBM. Oh man, we had to pick the brain of tracks, man. Like, I'm glad you came here, man. This man busy, like man. Look, girl, I got an hour for you, bro. Hey, shit, listen. Man. <laughs> I'm actually about to go shoot the video to got that feeling right now. I was just gonna ask you what the what the visuals look like too, man. Um, That's crazy. we shot we shot uh the video to be my bay last week. We we shooting um got that feeling right today, and then next week we shooting do not disturb. Thank you for shooting that video. Thank yeah. you for shooting that video, man. Thank you, cause yeah, that that's uh, gonna be cool. Yeah, that video gonna coming. be crazy. It's coming. It's coming. It's coming. I I'm I made it a point that I that I was gonna shoot it, cause I really love that song. I had that song. Actually, what's so funny is I was on shopping that song. I I sent it to Tank. My my goal was for Tank to buy that song. And um, I sent it to him, and they didn't accept it. So. I was like, I'm keeping this. Oh my lord, bro. You know that I mean? song, Timeless. Man, y'all, y'all go listen to that DND, man, cause like that's crazy, man. That's crazy, man. They didn't accept it. So Jeez, what can I do? Man, make a hit like you just did. Hey, <laughs> hey, that's, that's what I can do. <laughs> Thanks, man. So man, it's your boy Sir Quinn, man. We rocking out with Trax Sanders. That's Trax with two X's. Y'all make sure y'all go tap in. Go listen to that fat boy season, man, making us skinny niggas jealous and shit, man. Well, my yeah, life, I we are. Go tap in, man. Man, finish it. Bring some ice cream next time. Come back, hey. too, bro. Come back, man. So you already know what time it is, man. It's your boy, Sir Quinn, from Best of the Best Entertainment. You already know what time it is. Shh. Shut up and hustle. We out. I tell them, like, sir, be shut up and hustle. Shut up. Shut up and hustle. Shut up. Shut up and hustle. Shut up. Shut up and hustle. I tell them, like, sir, be shut up and hustle. Shut up and hustle. Shut up. Shut up and hustle. Shut up. Shut up and hustle. I tell them my sir, be shut up and hustle. Of the best entertainment. Shh. Shut up and hustle.